everybody, this is Praxis, and today it's raining outside, so I haven't been able to work on the exterior sheathing, but I'm making good use of the time inside. And uh, the first place where I was working is here in the uh, pantry area. All these uh, walls, they were just that raw kind of foam where I was I had like kind of a tessellated patchwork of foam that I'd had from, uh, you know, scrap and everything like that. That was what it was like this morning. I got the, uh, well, here it is right here. I've got uh, two inches of foam added to it, and then this Luan piece, kind of like a pl uh, laminated plywood, uh, and it's being held down by some strapping with four inch long screws going through it. Uh, you'll notice it's kind of floppy, that's just because I ran out of four inch screws. I, ha I got enough to get the panels up. Here are these other uh, battens, I think, it's, I think they're called battens, I think, uh, that are holding them up against the wall. Um, I've got eight more of them. They're going to go up and, you know, I'm going to add more screws. But it's nice that the space is open now. Uh, we can work in here and uh, everything is actually kind of up in place. Let's head upstairs. Amber is here today also. She uh, just finished sanding the upstairs. Um, I've been working here and I got this area all tidied up so we can move in and out of the place pretty easily. Let's hop outside just briefly. Uh, I put a tarp up over the greenhouse roof area so that I could work with the saws out here. Uh, you know, they leak and stuff. I don't know, like in a, a monsoon, I don't know how effective they'd be. But for uh, drizzle and kind of a light rain, they keep this area totally clean and dry. And that's why I was working out here uh, while I was cutting up the foam. Let's go upstairs and I'll show you what we're doing up there. Uh, I, I had thought today I was going to do a lot of boards, like getting these wall boards up. And I did start a little bit of that, but I've just been kind of uh, you know, working on all sorts of other things. Started working on the threshold uh, that's going to transition between the boards and the tile in there. Uh, but like I said, Amber and I have been upstairs and we're getting ready to do the seal, uh, the staining and everything. That's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, we've got these floors completely sanded and we're vac vacuuming out and I'm going to show you the process that we're using uh, to do that. Uh, oh, I guess Amber caught up with me. Uh, Amber is running the vacuum, and she is uh, uh, shaking there. Uh, and uh, she's got the little uh, brush attachment, uh, trying to get the gunk out of all the cracks between the boards. And I'm staying ahead of her, or at least I was staying ahead of her until I started this video uh, with this uh, little spackle tool. And I'm just cutting through these cracks to try to get any sawdust and junk that's fallen in there fluffed up, out, and she can vacuum it up. And it looks like I should get back to work and she's caught up with me. That's it. Thanks for watching.